All right, hello everybody. We are setting out for hole number six. This is par five. I'm, I feel pretty confident that they're gonna put this one downwind. But I guess you never really know. So if it is downwind, the best thing that you're going to want is, you know, driver, short iron. You're gonna to wanna to put on your most comfortable clubs. Um, if it's not downwind, well, we're not even going to be able to go to the other fairway at all on the tee shot. So we might want to think about setting up a longer second shot. So for example, put it on Cataclysm will be nice to really get us down that fairway to hopefully set up a nice eagle pitch. Now, uh, what which I'd prefer to see, I'm not entirely sure. Um, kind of split about what I'd want to see here. Uh, I'd like to see downwind for sure, um, just to kind of, you know, get a little risk reward going. But at the same time, I feel like this is going to be a very risky hole if it is downwind. And there you have it. There's our answer. So this is very downwind. Um, I'm gonna just go for it. I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna aim a little bit more aggressive to the right of the bunk, left of the bunkers here. I do believe I can make this other fairway going this way. That's why you see me setting up to do this. And it's about three and a half targets left of the bunkers. I'm just trying to land it kind of aggressive towards the bunker, hit that fairway, and kind of... Oh. And I do believe if you put on a glow ball you will be able to get very close to that green. Maybe change up, change up your spin a little bit. Um, I almost put on straight top spin. And you could see the way that I was setting up there was to land pretty aggressive to the bunker. Uh, that's going to be the recommended way that I um, suggest you guys play it. Um, but of course, Going up through the middle here is also an option that you can use. I do definitely like this setup here. Ooh, just held on. So nice. So hopefully I don't make this. But I am going to go for it just so you guys can kind of see where it... No, I just really need the distance more than anything. So, about a quarter club, that's usually what it is. It's almost a two ring adjustment. And here you see me just doing some side spin, just to kind of be able to straighten that out a little bit. And there you see me doing right around two rings. If I can't pop that, ah, that great ball's gonna take me out of the shot. Not even gonna give it a chance. So, Albatross is going to be what you're going for on this one. It is going to be very doable, which I like to see. Um, you know, having one opportunity would be nice. And this is definitely going to be it. Um, I do believe that... Uh, you know, I'm, I think you can probably get there either way. Whether or not you use the, the aim that I did or the aim my opponent did. I think you're going to be able to get to this hole either way. Um, to really give yourself a good chance to get that albatross. So, uh, I'm 
good luck with this hole. Um, wish you guys luck in the tournament. And uh, hopefully you can find a method uh, that you're satisfied with. Of course, uh, not having a Cat 6 or... or let, let me make this easy, actually. Um, the way that I just went is going to be probably for uh, a POC 6 or 7 only. Um, I'm going to recommend throwing on a globe as well. Um, but it's also going to be wind dependent. Let's say, you know, they gave me a full max wind there. And my wind was, say, you know, 16 and a half. I might have been able to do that exact same shot with a 16 and a half. And it might have been on the fairway up there or very close to the green. So, um, whereas if I throw on a globe, then I have to start risking going too far as well. Um, so keep that in mind and uh, good luck in that hole. You can see kind of what you're dealing with. Um, it would have been nice to see that guy, you know, pull out a globe or a berserker and at least show you guys what it was looking like if you do choose to go to the right. Um, I'm assuming, especially if you put on a globe, that you're going to land above the bunkers. So they're not going to be as in play, which is going to be a nice thing. But uh, say you have an Apoc 5, you might not quite have enough topspin to get it up fully where you want it. But uh, I wish you guys luck on that uh, par 5 there. And be on the lookout for hole number 7 coming up next.